Okay, we bet the you suck world rental for the 2023 NFL scenes for week three. Go to the Broncos. Now, Broncos fans, don't be surprised. We all know why you got you suck world for week three. Don't be surprised. 70 points in your head. They put a second strain. They scoring to y'all. And they show y'all mercy by not getting a fair go. Oh my goodness, Broncos. I made the video last beat by Sean Payton. Now, this week, y'all getting the video because I got ran through on Sunday and I don't know what to say I wouldn't let somebody else handle this one this week and hey, yo Frank take over man appreciate it D look Broncos damn I mean damn this was this was just a full blown assault a fireable offense I don't even, I don't even know what to tell y'all right now y'all let everybody hit y'all let the starters hit y'all let the backups hit you let the ball boy hit shoot i even think i seen the owner suing up at one point shit was crazy bro i could have sworn this was a top 10 defense last year it doesn't matter anymore now y'all definitely rank 32 now no matter what happens y'all got a four week head start at this point y'all just gotta blow it all up this is a toxic work environment this is not good for the culture sean you might be gone i'm not even sure you're gonna get your job back at false after this shoot i, I wouldn't even try cbs nah y'all no, nah, y'all gotta rewrite y'all wrongs for this, bro. Y'all, y'all gotta make this up. Y'all gotta make it up. The fans deserve better. Y'all gotta rewrite y'all wrongs after this. I'm gonna need y'all to blow out the bears or something next week. Or this gonna go down here real quick, real fast. But let me go ahead and shoot it back to Darius. But let me go ahead and shoot the mic down to Los. That's talk. That's talk. Ass whooping on top of that. The Denver Broncos, man. Them Denver stinking Broncos, bro. Sean Payton. Sean Payton. You should never came out of retirement for this, for one. The fact that you come into a team thinking that you could probably turn it around. Cause you got a superstar quarterback. Well, I hate to break it to you, this is looking like a a, a quarterback that got to be replaced. This whole different team got to be replaced. This, it, it's ridiculous to watch a team score on down there every single drive or every single time they have the ball. It's a shame. This the NFL where all like everybody's equally in talent, but it's how you work at it. It's all on the system at the end of the day. But the fact that they came out to this game. And let that wood get laid on them? Oh, Lord Jesus, man. I don't know. This different team might go 0-16, but I mean 0-17. They may go 0-17. And uh, this is a special message for Patrick Sertan. You got a lot of talent, bro. A lot of talent. If you paid attention to ex-Alabama, Mika Fitzpatrick, when they got blown out, and he was playing for the Miami Dolphins at the time. And when they got blown out, he dipped it. That after that first game, he dipped it. Like, I, I just don't want the I don't want no worse for him because you a talented player. It should not be on no trash matted team like this. And especially you're the number one rated corner in the NFL. So it's like you should be on a team that is playing like they, they don't have to play at their number one, but definitely should be playing like they try to compete for a title. And Denver is not the team. And I do respect now that I think about it. I respect Mike Daniels and their decision to kneel it on fourth down rather than going for the record simply because, yeah, it's a respect factor. I mean, like, only way you're a disrespect, disrespect a team in that level, they came at you disrespectful. So, he respect that. I, I like that. At the end of the day, bro, everything is left in between the lines and coaches do got to make a decision on what they want to do and what position they want to put their teams in to have a chance to win or do exactly what they just did this past Sunday. But hey, man, that's much that I have to say about this game, man. Like, it, it was pitiful. It was pitiful. Just even looking back, looking back at a couple clips, like on uh, the rookie running back, I think he ran for 200 and a couple touchdowns, and he could not be stopped. Tyreek Hill was having a little monster day. Like everybody, the whole team. Now imagine if Jalen Waddle, imagine if Jalen Waddle would have played, they would have possibly dropped the 100. All, all reality, like no BS, no bullshit. Like they would have dropped like a hundred on Denver and Wilder was playing. But hey, man, it's your boy Lose, man. This is all I had to say, you hear me? Okay, keep it short and simple, man. Denver Broncos. You suck, you jackass.